Welcome to Little John's Yarns. Today we'll be making newborn shell toe Adidas. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, we'll hop right into the tutorial. Okay, you'll need some scissors. I'm using Deborah Norville Everyday Yarn in black and white. And you'll need a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook. And um, you'll also need a needle, which I don't have here, but I'll find later in the video. Whatever brand yarn you choose, make sure you choose a thinner worsted weight yarn so it doesn't work up too big. Okay, well, we'll start by making a slip knot and chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And single crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Half double crochet in the next two. One, two, okay, we're going to put three DCs in the next three stitches. One DC, two, and three DCs. And a very last stitch, we're going to place seven double crochets in the very last stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to be working down the bottom of your um, sole. Let's place three DCs in the next three stitches. Double crochets. <laughs> One double crochet. Two double crochets. And your third double crochet. Now half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. Now we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. Oops, got stuck. One single crochet, two, and three. We're going to put three single crochets into the very last stitch. One, two, and three. And slip stitch to join on the very first single crochet. Chain one and single crochet into the same space. One single crochet. Now place eight single crochets in the next stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now place two double crochets in each of the next six stitches. Place two in here. That's the first. Place two in the next stitch. Two. Two in the next stitch. Three. 
two single crochets in the next stitch, four, two single crochets in the next stitch, five, and two single crochets in the last, six. Let's make sure I got it right. Single crochet into the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four. Oh, get stuck. Five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. Place two single crochets in the next four stitches. Put two in this stitch. One, two in the next stitch. Two, two in the next. three and two single crochets in the next stitch and four slip stitch to join okay now chain one and single crochet into the same space now single crochet into the next eight stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to do one single crochet followed by two into the same stitch six times. One single crochet, followed by two into the same stitch. That's your first set. One single crochet, followed by two into the same stitch. Two. One single crochet, followed by two into the same. Three. One single crochet, followed by two into the same stitch. Four. One single crochet, followed by two into the same stitch. Five. One single crochet, followed by two into the same stitch. And that completes six. Let's double check. I always like to make sure I have the right amount. Because <laughs> many times I've messed up and had to frog and start all over. So don't follow my same mistake. Alright, now we're going to single crochet into the next nine stitches. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Now place one single crochet followed by two single crochets into the same stitch four times. One single crochet followed by two single crochets. That's your first set. One single crochet followed by two single crochets. Two. One single crochet, followed by two single crochets. Three. One single crochet, followed by two single crochets. That makes four. And we're going to slip stitch to join. 
Okay, you completed the bottom of your booty. So after you're done slip stitching and joining your work, we are going to cut and fasten it off. Here's what it looks like so far. Next, I want you to find the center of the back of your heel. We're going to attach the yarn to the back loop. It doesn't matter exactly where you attach as long as the back of the heel. Once it's attached, chain one and half double crochet into the same back loop. We're going to do back loops half double crochets all the way around. Remember, don't it go through two loops, just the back loop. Half double crochet on the back loop. Try to weave in your work as you go. Going through the back loops creates the edge of your shoe. Okay, we're going to continue doing this. Alright, continue doing your back loop half double crochets and I'll meet you at the other side. We made it around. We are going to slip stitch the join. Make sure you go through both loops. Now chain one, single crochet into the same space. Going through both loops, of course. And we are going to single crochet in every stitch all the way around. We're going to repeat this for two rows, single crocheting in each stitch. Remember, complete this for two rows. I'll meet you at the completion of two rows. Okay, we made it around, finished our two rows. We are going to slip stitch to join. And we are going to fasten off our work. Next, we're going to be working on the front of the toe. I want you to find the center 22 tits, excuse me, 22 stitches on the front. And use a little marker like I'm using right here as a guide. For this row, we're going to be working in the back loops only. Okay, we're going to attach our yarn. Okay, uh, attaching yarn is not my strong suit. I'm always a fumble finger, so bear with me. Once your yarn is attached, chain two. Oh, let me get it adjusted. Here we go. One. Two. DC into the same space. Remember to work in those ends. There's your double crochet. Remember back loops only. Now we're going to double crochet together. This is going to be a pattern all the way across. Double crochet followed by double crochet together. Okay, here is your double crochet. Followed by a double crochet together. Okay, we're going to repeat this pattern to the other marker. Okay, we'll do the last double crochet together. Pull out your marker and place your double crochet into the back loop. Chain three and turn your work. We're going to back post double crochet together. Watch closely. Here you go, turn your work. Now go through your double crochets back this way and pull up for the first half of your double crochet together. Now the second part doing this stitch here. Pull up and complete your double crochet together. Let's do another back post. Work through the bottom double crochet together right here. 
pull up your loop go through two loops now complete on the next stitch right here and this will complete your back post double crochet together let's do it another time so you can see exactly what's going on go to the back and pull up a loop go through two and go to this next stitch right here and pull through three and that's your back post double crochet complete this all the way across I'll meet you at the other end. Okay, I'll work this very last back post double crochet together. That's a handful, mouthful. There you go, and go into that very last double crochet to finish off your back post double crochet. Okay, we're going to chain run and turn our work. Here's what it looks like so far. Now we're going to single crochet this whole row across, going through all seven stitches. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops. There you go. And now we're going to slip stitch to join from the very last stitch. There you go. And we'll fasten off our work. All right. I think this booty or tennis shoe is coming together pretty nicely. You can already see the beginning of the shell toe. Check it out. All right. Next, we're going to be working on the side of your shoe. We're going to attach the yarn one stitch over from where you attached it for the toe. Two stitches in, I suppose you can say. We're going to chain one and single crochet into the same space. Single crochet into the next. We're going to do this all the way to the other side of the shoe until you make it two stitches in to the beginning of the shell toe. Single crochets. I'll meet you when we get to the other side right here. Two stitches in. Okay. We made it to the other side. See, here's the one stitch in from the toe. And here's the second stitch in from the toe. Now chain one. Turn your work, single crochet into the same space. And we're going to repeat this single crochet across for a total of three more rows. I'll meet you at the end of three rows. Okay, we completed those rows. Next, we're going to chain one. Skip this space and single crochet into the next space. Then single crochet all the and single crochet all the way to the other side until you get to the last two stitches. I'll meet you at the last two stitches. Okay, we're at the last two. We're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Skip this one, single crochet into the next. By skipping the space, it creates a slant to the front of your shoe where the laces will go in the end. Okay, we're going to repeat this pattern for four more rows. Remember, we're going to skip this stitch and single crochet into the next. 
and when you make it to the last two stitches we're going to skip the second to the last and single crochet in the last remember repeat this for four rows I'll meet you at the other end okay we finished our four rows now we're going to chain one and turn our work single crochet into the same space then single crochet into the next two one two half double crochet into the next three one two three double crochet into the next three one two and three next we're going to treble crochet into the next four stitches here's your first treble crochet second treble crochet that's a tongue twister blah <laughs> we're working on our third treble crochet and your fourth treble crochet now do three double crochets into the next three stitches one two and three Fault by three half double crochets into the next stitch. Stitches one, two, and three, followed by three single crochets into the last three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we can fasten off your work. Next, we'll be working on the shoelace holes. We're going to attach your yarn to the very um, bottom right here of your shoe. This doesn't have to be precise. Okay, attach your yarn. chain one place a single crochet into the same space and evenly place another oops I lost my single crochet let me do it again place an evenly spaced single crochet next to it And chain one this will be the pattern two single crochets and chain one here's your first single crochet second single crochet chain one single crochet one your second single crochet two chain one single crochet followed by your second single crochet chain one here's another single crochet but followed by another single crochet chain one and we're going to single crochet right into the top of the stitch right here we're going to place a single crochet in each of the stitches across the flat surface of the top of the shoe. Once you make it to the downward slope on the other side of the shoe, you're going to repeat this same pattern by two single crochets followed by a chain. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you have a um, space to put your uh, future laces inside. Okay, I will meet you once you make it to the other side.
Okay, we are here. Now we are going to fasten off our work. Next, we will be working on the tongue of our shoe. I want you to attach your yarn to the very edge of the front of your toe, right here. We're going to place 10 evenly spaced single crochets across this part of the toe. Chain 1, single crochet into the same space. That's your first single crochet. Two. Three. Try to weave in your ends as you go. Four. <laughs> Weaving in ends is easier said than done. Ugh. I'm <laughs> trying to get this. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. We're going to chain one and turn and single crochet across all 10 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. We're going to chain one and repeat this same sequence for six more rows. I'll meet you at the end of the six rows. At the end of your sixth row, we're going to change the color to black. All right, chain one and turn your work. Remember to weave in your ends. I wish I had like a magical wand just to weave it in for me. <laughs> and we're going to single crochet into the same space. And single crochet into each stitch across. Okay, I'll meet you at the very end of the other side. All right, we are going to chain one and repeat this row again. Single crochet into the same space and in each single crochet across. Okay, that's completed. Next, we are going to chain one turn our work. We're going to skip this space and cr single crochet into the next. Single crochet across until the last two stitches. Okay, we're going to skip the second to the last stitch and single crochet into the very last. Chain one. We're going to repeat this. Skip this stitch, single crochet into the next. 
Now single crochet across until you make it to the last two, st two stitches. Almost hard to see. Okay. Skip this stitch and single crochet into the very last stitch. We're going to repeat this pattern again. Chain one. Skip the first stitch, single crochet into the next, all the way across until you make it to the last two stitches. Once you make it across, skip the second to the last and single crochet into the last stitch. And here we'll fasten off our work. And here is our Adidas sneaker so far. Looking pretty cool. Now we're going to be making the shoelace. For this, of course, you need the slip knot, and we are going to chain 150. Make two of these. Um, I won't make you watch me chain all 150. I'll fast forward and skip to the next step. We're going to be making the back of the emblem for the shoe. Make a slip knot. Chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook and single crochet all the way across. You should have 14 stitches. Okay. Once you get to the other end, chain one, turn your work, and place a half double crochet into the same stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Three double crochets into the next three stitches. One double crochet. Two double crochet, three double crochet. Now place four treble crochets into the next four stitches. Here's your first treble crochet. Second treble crochet. Third treble crochet, and your fourth treble crochet. Now place three double crochets into the next three stitches. One, two, And three. Now place two half double crochets into the last two stitches. One half double crochet. And here's your last half double crochet. And fasten off your work. Now, using a 5 millimeter crochet um, hook, we are going to use um, your black yarn, but we're going to double the yarn. Once the yarn is doubled, create a slip knot, and we're going to chain about 35. This chain will be for the stripes on the Adidas shoe. If it's too long, we can reduce it later. Chain 35 and make sure your stitches are pretty tight so they'll be uniform and lay flat against the shoe. Okay, 
this is how we're going to lay the stripes on the shoe all right working towards the bottom of the shoe on the slope where you're going to take the crochet hook insert it into the back of the shoe through the front and pull your chain through from back front to back okay laying your chain as flat as possible lay it at an angle to create the very first stripe and pull it back through the back. Now we're going to work on the second stripe. Try to place this next chain evenly from the first stripe. Pull the tail in through. Remember to lay your chain flat at an angle. And pull your toe in through again. Okay, we're going to repeat this for the third stripe. Make sure it's evenly spaced. Pull your tail through and lay it flat. We're going to repeat this stripe pattern on the other side of the shoe. Once they're all adjusted, fasten your stitches off on the end. And like I said, repeat the same process on the other side. Now we're going to place the back emblem on the back of the shoe. All you would have to do is sew it on. And of course, weave in your ends. Okay, here's a picture of my completed shoe. And we're going to work on your emblem next. It's pretty simple. Okay, all you need is your needle and some white thread, I mean white yarn. Make sure your um, thread is doubled, like so. Working from the back to the front, put your needle in the centermost of the top of the shoe. Pull your yarn through. Now insert in the very top. Well, just below the top. Let me try this again. <laughs> Even I make mistakes. Okay, insert it through the back in the center part of the tongue. Okay, go through the top, through the back. Adjust your yarn so it lays flat and evenly. You don't want it twisted.
Okay, it looks like mine is starting to get a little bit twisted. Well, you get the gist of exactly how to make the emblem. I'm going to go back and correct mine to make it look a little bit better. And don't forget to repeat the same pattern on the very back of the emblem on the back of the shoe. Here's the complete product. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you guys 